Hi, my name is Michael Crowley and today I'll be going through the operation of a three unit regulator within the context of a generator's output, DC generator. On the left hand side you can see we have a DC generator. The DC generator consists of an armature and a field winding. The field winding is creating a magnetic field and the armature is a wire that's connected to an engine that's rotating through that magnetic field. Looking across, we then have a voltage regulator. The voltage regulator is, is controlling the current that flows through the field winding. We'll go through that in more detail in a second. Then we have a current limiter. The current limiter is limiting the output current from the generator to the aircraft electrical system. Then we have a reverse current relay. The reverse current relay is, is a set of contacts connected to a coil that's disconnecting the generator from the battery and aircraft electrical system and the generator voltage falls below the battery. So let's get into how the system works. We have our voltage regulator and the voltage regulator is basically uh, a voltage coil that's controlling these contacts, opening or closing the contacts when the voltage increases or decreases which in turn shorts out or open circuits this resistor. We also have a coil which is basically a spring or a coil that's pulling the contacts open or closed. So let's go through how it works. Uh, in normal operation we have as I said earlier 28 volts, 28 volts on the generator and for whatever reason if the alpha voltage rises that is going to connect this voltage coil it's going to have an increase in voltage across this voltage coil because it's connected in parallel with the generator so what, any change in voltage here is going to be seen here what that's going to do is it's going to open these contacts and when closed, open, opening these contacts it's going to connect this resistor series with this winding here. If we add this resistor in series, it will decrease the current flowing through the coil, which decreases magnetism, which decreases the field strength of our generator, which decreases our output voltage. As our output voltage goes down, we are going to close these contacts. As these contacts close, current is going to flow, instead of flowing through this resistor, it's going to go through the closed contacts here and then through our current limiter back to the generator, increasing field current and increasing our output voltage. So as the voltage increases across the generator, that increases the voltage over the voltage coil, which opens the contacts, increasing resistance in series with the field, decreasing field current. So when a question would be when will the contacts be open? As the voltage in the output rises, the voltage on the voltage coil increases and the contacts will open, decreasing field current. And those contacts will open and close as the output voltage rises or falls in order to control the output voltage of the generator. Moving to the right, oh, moving to the right, 